Hello everyone, so today I'm going to do something different and uh, I'm going to make a tier list. Um, this is my opinion, obviously, mm, not, not everyone going to agree with me, but uh, I try my best. So, the first unit is the Green Bardock, I think he's a B tier unit, uh, or C tier probably, I don't really know, I haven't used him. On PvP or in PvP, um, Android 17. He could be a little bit higher, but I think that he is an A-tier unit. Zenkai Broly. I'm going to put him in an S-tier. I think um, at Zenkai one, he is an S-tier unit. At Zenkai seven, he would be a Z-tier unit for sure, but. Uh, I'm not gonna include Zenkai 7 units. Uh, the only Zenkai 7 unit that uh, I'm gonna include is the Zenkai 7 Kid Goku. Captain Ginyu, A tier, Cooler, B tier. Uh, EX Beerus, I think, uh, is an A tier unit. Riku, I think he's, he's an S tier unit, uh, a low S tier unit. He's very good, he's very tanky. He's one of the best tanks in the game. Um, and he's an extreme unit. He definitely deserves to be in the S tier. Viz, I think it's obvious. The final form Frieza. He's not good anymore, unfortunately. This kid Gohan is definitely one of the worst units in the game. This uh, Goku, uh, I mean, he's not the best. The free to play uh, Goku is is very bad. And Gotenks, the first ZT unit, uh, I think that he's definitely a ZT unit, and he's just so good. He does so much damage. He has a very good uh, damage cut. He has a cover cut. Uh, he's just all around a very good unit. And honestly, he's probably better than Kefla. Although, in my opinion, Kefla is probably a little bit better, but he's definitely very good. The Transforming Vegito, in my opinion, he's definitely a Z-tier unit. Um, he's just so good. He's probably my favorite unit in the game. Uh, I love to use him. Um, he's just so good, especially after uh, trans his transformation. His blue card does so much damage. Um, he's just insane. Uh, Broly, I'd say he's an S tier unit, or probably S plus. But uh, I'm gonna put him on S plus. I think he's definitely a high S tier unit or a low S plus tier unit. So yeah, um, Trunks, I think he's an S tier unit. He's a very good unit. Uh, so he's definitely uh, belongs in S tier. Uh, you could put him higher, but in my opinion, he's an S tier unit. Pot Frieza is an A tier unit. By the way, this is uh, not in order, so yeah, you can see the units down here, and I just putting them uh, in the tiers. I I won't make an order because that would. Uh, be too much time, but I don't think that's necessary, so whatever. Uh, Android 18, she is very bad, unfortunately. The new Goku, the Kakarot Goku, I think he's a definitely a very good unit, especially for a free-to-play uh, free unit. SSG3 Gotenks, he's still usable. Uh, the new Vegito completely replaced him, but he's, he's usable. He's not great, but you can use him. SSJ for Goku, definitely Z tier. Uh, I don't think that I have to explain why. Janamba, I think that he's an S tier unit. Green Gogeta, he's an S tier unit as well. I think he's a little bit underrated, especially now because the Kefla came out and uh, Kefla is so much better than him. But I think that this Gogeta is underrated and I think that he's, he's really good. Uh, Super Baby 2, obviously, 
he's he's just insane. His support is ridiculous. SSJ for Vegeta, I think he's an S plus tier. Tapion, I think Tapion is a uh, he's an A tier unit, probably S tier, but uh, I don't really like him. I only have him at two stars, so he's obviously not the best unit, uh, at least for me. But um, you could put him on S tier. Uh, I don't think that he's better than that, but I'm gonna put him in A tier. This Bardock is probably gonna surprise a lot of people. I think this Bardock is actually very good. Um, he's a very good tank. He can do very good damage. He has decent damage. Um, and he gives a buff to the whole team when he dies. I think that this Bardock is definitely a very good unit and definitely underrated. Um, I don't use him anymore because I have the Kid Goku at Zenkai 7, so obviously I'm going to use him because he's just so much better. But this Bardock is definitely underrated. LF Vegeta, Z tier, I don't think uh, that I have to explain why. Um, in my opinion, LF Vegeta is still one of the best units in the game. Gatki is not the best team right now, but this Vegeta is probably the best Gatki unit. Uh, except Zenkai Seven Beerus, but he's very good. Rose, S plus easily. I I think that Rose is the perfect example of an S plus uh, unit because he's just so good all around. Um, he's not Z tier, but he's he's just very good. He's a very good unit. This Gohan is probably S tier. Or A tier. Uh, I put him in S tier because I don't know. I think um, he does a lot of um, support for the hybrid team. And uh, basically, everyone has him at four stars because you can get more stars uh, on him right now. But I think he's a very solid unit. Um, and I think that he's better than the A tier units. Um, yeah. Frieza, S tier. I don't think that he's an S plus tier, but he's definitely an S tier unit. Cooler, in my opinion, Transforming Cooler is a Z tier unit. I think that Zenkai Cooler is, a be is the best uh, LO unit, but after him, I think that Probably transforming cooler is the second. So yeah, uh, Napa, I'm going to put him in A tier because right now no one can use him, unfortunately, because his event uh, hasn't come back yet. So that's unfortunate, but he's not a bad unit at all. SSJ3 Goku. I think that a lot of people uh, would uh, disagree with me. But in my opinion, the SSJ3 LF Goku is, is insanely good. He's not that crazy um, as the LF Vegeta, for example, but I think that LF SSJ3 Goku is definitely one of the best units in the game. He doesn't do as much damage as, for example, this uh, LF Vegeta, but he does enough damage, especially after faulty timer counts, because his card draw speed is insane and his cards are cheaper. His ultimate does a lot of damage. Um, he has a cover rescue. He has a solid green card and he can combo it with, uh, with his special move. I think that he's a very solid unit and I think he's underrated. Um, yeah, I think that he's low S plus tier unit or mid S plus tier unit. He's definitely not the best unit uh, in this tier, but uh, he definitely deserves to be here. Next, Kid Buu. Um, I'm gonna put him in S tier, low S tier. Unfortunately, Kid Buu is just not too impressive, but he's not a bad unit. Um, he's just not OP. He's okay. Bojack, 
S plus or maybe Z, but I'm going to put him in S plus. But uh, if you think he's a Z tier unit, I wouldn't argue with that. He's he's just insane. Um, I think that his uh, cover change is one of the most broken uh, things in the whole game. So he's definitely at least an S plus uh, unit. Gohan, I don't think that I have to explain why, but he's definitely a Z tier unit. Um, a tier, uh, he's just mediocre. Um, same with this Goku, he's just nothing special. Ginyu is probably high A or low S, but I'm gonna put him in A tier. You could put him in S tier, but um, I don't think that he's as good as these S tier units. Um, I think that he's a little bit weaker, but you could put him in S tier. Bunny Bulma, A tier. 18, S tier. Um, she's very good, especially with Android 21 and Kefla. She's a solid unit. Rosie, A tier. Uh, Kakunza. She's very good. She's a very good unit. Unfortunately, the Android 21 is better. Um, I'm go going to put her in A tier, but you could put her higher. Uh, this Goku. Um, I like this Goku a lot, and I think he's underrated. This is probably going to be controversial, but in my opinion, this Goku is one of the best units in the game. He's a very good last stand unit. He's a very good defensive unit. His ultimate does so much damage. Um, he has one of the best uh, green cards in the game. He can restore his uh, vanish gauge. His blue card is very good. I think that his biggest weakness is uh, his team. And not because movies are bad, but he doesn't really fit there, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the main three characters, uh, they are working so well together, the Vegeta or this Broly, Bojack and Gohan, and this Goku doesn't really fit there. Um, and movies doesn't really have a very good uh, red unit. Um, if movies get a very good uh, red unit, I think he, he's going to be so much uh, better uh, but in my opinion he's definitely an S plus uh, unit or S tier you could put him on S tier but in my opinion he's definitely at least an S tier unit okay uh, next Android 13 fused Android 13 he's very good he's he's a very solid unit I think he's underrated um, hit I think he's he's an estate unit in my opinion. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a team. Um, he could be higher, but um, his team is just it's just not there. Kaioken Goku, S tier. Uh, he's a very risky unit. Uh, you can use him, and I like him, and I think he's a great unit. It's risky to use him because his transformation is very short and uh, he gets a very huge debuff after his transformation. This Piccolo is probably A tier. Um, okay, LF Goku. I think that he's still Z tier. In my opinion, he's still a Z tier unit. I only have him at two stars and that's the reason why I don't use him anymore. Uh, and uh, Fitku came out, um, support Goku, I don't like to call him Fitku. The support Goku came out and uh, because he, I only have him at two stars, I don't use him. But if I had him at least at three stars, I would use him for sure. He's just so good. He's still very good. He's a last 10 unit. He's probably the best last 10 unit after... Uh, Bardock, I think Bardock is better as a last unit, but 
is definitely up there. Uh, he's just so good. He does so much damage. His blue card is still one of the most broken things in the game. Uh, his green card is very good. It can force your uh, it can force your opponent to switch. It's a very good green card. I don't think I have to explain why he, this Goku is so good. A lot of people think that he's uh, fallen off, and yeah, he's not the best unit anymore, but he's still very good. And a lot of people saying that he's worse because of the tackle or whatever, you can counter that with a strike card. So I don't think that this Goku fallen off that much. I think that he's still a ZT unit, especially when he's the last one alive. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, he's definitely a ZT unit, still a ZT unit. Full power Frieza, S+, plus, probably the best tank in the game. And LOE is just crazy right now. This Gohan, I think he's an S tier unit. Um, Goku Black, probably A tier. You could put him in S tier, but I don't know, it's just... It's just not impressive, he's just alright. Um, Android 13, A tier, probably S tier. Uh, I don't use him anymore because the free to play Android 21 is just better. Trunks, S plus, easily. This Vegeta, I don't have this Vegeta. Uh, probably A tier or low S tier. Um, this Goku, I think this Goku is so much better than this Vegeta. This Goku is definitely an S tier unit, definitely. Shisami, um, A tier. I used him when the co-op boss was a blue unit, probably it was Beerus, and he was very good. He was, he was very good, but, um, I wouldn't use him in PvP. Android 21, the free to play Android 21, S tier, the evil Android 21, easily Z tier. A lot of people saying that he's the best unit in the game. I could see that. I don't think she's the best, but she's definitely a Z tier unit. EX Broly, S tier, EX Nil, S tier. Those two EXs are insane. They are so much better than a lot of sparkings in the game. I think that Zangia is an S tier unit as well. I really like this character. EX Ginyu, A tier, or probably S tier, but I think he's an A tier unit. A tier. Burder, S tier, easily. Guldo, A tier. This Vegeta is probably S plus. I think he's an S plus unit. I think that he's probably better than this Brolian I put. Uh, Broly in S+, plus, so I think that this Vegeta deserves to be in S plus tier. A tier, um, Sin Shenron S tier, I think he's underrated. Uh, I only have him at 2 stars, so I don't use him, but if I had him at uh, like 6 stars, I would use him for sure. He's very good. Baby Vegeta, A tier, he's, he's just underwhelming. LF Piccolo, Z tier, although I don't have him, so I don't know. Z or S plus, I don't know. I don't have him, unfortunately, so I don't really know. I don't think that he's as good as the other units in Z tier. To be honest, his biggest strong point is the fact that he's a regen unit, and I don't know, I don't think he's a Z-tier unit. If you think he's a Z-tier unit, I'm okay with that, I don't have him, so I don't know. I just don't think that he's a Z-tier unit. I played, uh, I played against him a few times, and I don't think that he's that impressive. I think that... Uh, Android 21 is a much better unit.
or Zen Kaibu or even Super Baby 2. I don't think that he's a Z tier unit. He's definitely S plus and a lot of people saying that he's a Z tier unit. I'm okay with that. Um, but I don't think he's a Z tier unit. But I don't have him, so yeah. Ella Frieza, S plus easily. I don't think he's a Z tier unit, but uh, he makes LOE so good. Unfortunately, I don't have him either, but he's a very good unit. Reddit's A tier. Bardock. Okay, this Bardock is definitely Z tier. And to be honest, for me, he's probably the best unit in the game. Or at least top 3. I, I like this Bardock a lot. I think he's insane. Um, he can 1v3 like it's nothing. Especially after his second main ability. He can nullify uh, type disadvantage and uh, he restores his vanish. He does so much damage. Um, he's insane. He can heal with his main ability, with his green card, with his strike cards. He's insane. In my opinion, this Bardock is definitely at least top 5 in the game. So yeah, I like this Bardock a lot. And he's great. Goku, support Goku, S+. Plus. Easily, probably the best Saiyan support unit in the game. Um, yeah. Metal Cooler, A tier, you can use him. Free to play Vegito, S tier easily this goku i think he's an a tier unit gohan is probably s tier low s tier or high e tier i'm gonna put him in s tier i think he's a very good unit gotan s tier i don't have him unfortunately but he's very good especially when he has the right team um this roly a tier probably but he's he's just not good Okay, C tier. Um, a or B, somewhere between those two. I'm gonna put him in A tier. Cell, A tier, or probably lowest tier, I don't really know. I don't really care, honestly. Kefla. I don't think that I have to explain why Kefla is a Z tier unit. She's definitely a Z tier unit. She's insane. Krillin, Pycon, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Uh, B or C. Pan, B tier. Probably A tier. She's not that bad. She's not that bad. So you can use him if you want to. I think that A tier is the minimum. Uh, under that, everyone is useless, in my opinion. So, Piccolo, A tier probably. Shallot, I don't know why there are two Shallots, but whatever Shallot is, S+. Plus. He's not a Z tier unit, just because of his time-related transformation, and base Shallot is basically useless. Uh, you can't do anything with him. Uh, 16... Android 18, bl the blue Android 18, B or C, Chilled, B tier probably, C tier, I don't really know, <laughs> honestly, I'm just putting those character characters, B or C, doesn't really matter. Dabura, Zenkai Boo, okay, he is definitely Z tier, even at Zenkai 1, he is definitely Z tier, he's ridiculous I don't think I have to explain why he can heal like 10 million HP in a match it's ridiculous Gogeta B tier I think he's not really usable anymore Janamba the purple Janamba same SSG to Goku Bardock SSG Bardock A tier he could be low S tier but as a unit, he's not the best anymore. Unfortunately, he's just not that good. His support is still insane, but yeah, I don't think that he should be higher than 80. Purple Gotenks. Uh, 
green gotan, yellow trunks, android 14, a tier probably, he's a good unit, you can use him for sure, um, bojack, a tier probably, he's not the best, Chichi, A or B tier. Zenkai Cooler, yep. Z tier, definitely. Even at Zenkai 1, he's ridiculous. He's just so good. He was, he was a very good unit, even before his Zenkai. I think that he was an S tier unit, before his Zenkai Awakening. After his Zenkai, he's definitely a Z tier unit. And when he's at Zenkai 7, he's probably the best unit in the game. Fury Broly, B tier or maybe A tier, I don't know, Beerus, Zenkai Beerus, S plus, the thing is, I don't have Beerus at all, uh, I don't know how good he is when he's at Zenkai 1, I know that when he's at Zenkai 7, he's probably the best unit in the game, uh, with Zenkai 7, Bu and Zenkai 7 Cooler, those are the top 3 units in the game at Zenkai 7, I don't know how good he is at Zenkai 1, I'm gonna put him in Z tier, he's definitely a very good unit, uh, at least I know that he's, he's insane at Zenkai 7, so yeah, honestly the people who have him at, Z um, at 7 stars, those people most likely going to get him at Zenkai 7, I, I don't even remember if I ever faced uh, Zenkai 1 Beerus. I faced a lot of Zenkai 7 Beerus. Faced him at least 5 to 10 times. So yeah, I haven't faced Zenkai 1 Beerus. I don't think so. So yeah, I'm going to put him in Z tier. Gogeta, S tier. Easily S tier. Still very good. Uh, Zenkai Goku Black. S tier, Golden Freezer, S tier, he's one of the best units in the game still, and he's almost a year old. This Gotenks is just not good anymore. Kaioken Goku, A tier or B tier, uh, Slug, A tier, Mai, A tier, Majin Vegeta, B tier, he's just... He, w he wouldn't be a bad unit, but he debuffs the entire team and it, it hurts him a lot. Perfect Cell, S tier, easily. Hercule, B tier. Ribrian, in my opinion, Ribrian is still one of the best less than units in the game. I think she's underrated. She's definitely very good. Uh, Rildo, A tier. Rildo's biggest weakness is his team. Um, or not his team, but his ability, it's it's very bad. I don't know why he doesn't buff G, uh, GT. Seaman, A tier, he's actually a very good unit. Great Seaman 2, uh, I don't know, <laughs> B tier probably. Goku, S tier, Vegeta, S tier, they are still very good. Um, Califla, A tier. This Trunks is so bad. I'm going to put him in A tier, but he's just so bad. And he's the only blue unit that Future has. It's uh, it's so sad. Um, B tier. This Gohan. Okay. I'm going to talk about him a little bit more, I think. Um, S plus. Yes, I'm going to put him in S plus. This is my opinion, obviously. I know he's not as good as he was, but I'm going to tell you why he is underrated and I'm going to tell you uh, why he has fallen off. Okay, so this is basically the, the Sun family team. Um, yes, there are a lot of units, but um, these are the units that actually buff Sun family. and. Um, this is Gohan's biggest weakness, not his whatever. A lot of people saying that he does no damage at the beginning. 
yes, he's not he's he hasn't got that much damage at the beginning of the match. Yes, that's true. But when he's the last one standing, he is insane and he's still probably after uh Bardock and Goku, uh, he's probably the best last stand unit in the game. I think that LF Goku is probably a little bit better, but um, not by much. And this Gohan is still insane and he can still 1v3 with ease. Um, his biggest weakness is his team. Some family needs some love. Uh, they need new units and units that actually buff the tag because yes there are a lot of some family units there are a lot of goku characters in the game but as you can see there is there is no, not too much op options for uh, this gohan unfortunately the only top tier unit that actually buffs the team is super saiyan for goku maybe goten i don't have this goten and i think ssg4 is better than goten um, this Gohan is usable, but he's not great. You can use this Goku, but he's just there to die. So, as you can see, this team needs some support, and I guarantee you that when some family gets some good units, a good green unit, a good uh, blue unit, and I mean a good blue unit, not not an okay blue unit like this Gohan, I mean a top tier uh, blue unit like LF Goku. When this team gets those units, uh, SSG to Gohan is going to be so much better. I guarantee you that. His biggest weakness is his team. In my opinion, SSG to Gohan is, is still one of the best units in the game. He doesn't do as much damage in the beginning of the match. He's, despite that, he's still very good, and and I think he's definitely an S plus tier unit, uh, and he's definitely underrated. Uh, as I said, he doesn't really have a good team right now, but when some family gets some support, he's going to be so much better. I guarantee you that. Goku, A or B tier doesn't really matter. Uh, his ability sucks. Kale, um, A tier, doesn't really matter. DBS Broly, A tier probably, but he's he's just not good anymore, unfortunately. He needs a Zankai. That's it, he needs a Zankai. Uh, Kaba, A tier. This Goku is terrible. Gohan, you can still use him. Vegeta, A tier. GT Goku, A tier. GT Vegeta, A tier. Super Vegito, another Z tier unit. Yes, he's a Z tier unit. I don't know why people are saying that he's not, uh, he has fallen off or whatever. No, he hasn't fallen off. No, he's not the best unit anymore. That's a fact. That's obvious, especially when uh, there are units like Zenkai 7 Cooler, he's probably not as good as Zenkai 7 Cooler, obviously, but he's still insane. Um, and he's still definitely a ZT unit. He hasn't fallen off, but Zenkai 7 units are just better than him, unfortunately. Or, I don't know, I don't really like Zenkai Awakening, so whatever. But this Super Vegito is insane. Uh, when you have him like above six stars, he's definitely a ZT unit and he's definitely one of the best units in the game. I think that he's better than Kefla, to be honest, or Gotenks. I think that the best fusion warrior is either this Vegito or this Vegito, in my opinion. But I'm a huge Vegito fan, so I'm probably a little bit biased, but whatever. Puhan, I still. Still last tier, he's still very good. Ultimate Gohan, A tier, he's just not good anymore, unfortunately. Vegeta, A tier. His biggest weakness, 
honestly, he's the ability, but he's not the best unit anymore. Uh, he wasn't the best unit, uh, but he was a very good unit. He's he's not anymore. This Vegeta A tier is not too he's not too special. He's He's nothing crazy, he has some okay blast damage, but that's it. With a B tier, this Goku is probably A tier. Demon King Piccolo, B tier, Bulma, B tier. Zenkai 7 Kid Goku, Z tier, easily, one of the best units in the game. He is probably the best unit after these three and I'm talking about Zenkai 7 Boo, Cooler and Beerus if they are at Zenkai 1 this Kid Goku is definitely better uh, so unless we are talking about Zenkai 7 units I think this Kid Goku is probably the best unit in the game um, but uh, Zankai 7, Beerus, Cooler and Boo is just insane. I think those three are probably better than him, but if they uh, not Zankai, they are not at Zankai 7, this Kid Goku is probably the best unit. Um, oh my god, he's just very bad. Zamasu, A tier, I don't think that he's an S tier unit. I saw a lot of tier lists where he was, I don't know why, but he was an S tier unit, S pass. He's just not. He's not. He he has some good defenses. Yes, he has a second life, but I don't think that he's a great unit anymore. SSJ three Goku, A tier. He's still usable. He's still okay. Uh, SSJ four Goku is just so much better, but uh, he's not a bad unit. Zenkai Gohan. SSG Gohan S tier. Um, I'm talking about Zenkai 1, obviously. All of the Zenkai units are at Zenkai 1, but uh, except this Goku. But uh, yeah, these three, I think that they are Z tier units even uh, at Zenkai 1. The only unit that I'm not sure about is Beerus because I don't know how good he is at Zenkai 1. Uh, I know that he's insane at Zenkai 7 so I'm gonna put him in Z tier. But these two are definitely Z tier units even at Zenkai 1. Okay, uh, Fist Ku, A tier or B tier. A or B, low A tier probably. IT Goku is, is not good anymore, unfortunately. Zenkai Super Saiyan Goku, S tier. He's not a bad unit at all. He's just trash. This Trunks is, is just so bad. He needs Zenkai so badly. Vegeta, A tier probably. Super Trunks, Super Vegeta. Turles and Shallot, but I have him. At, uh, I have shallowed in Aspas. So this is the uh, tier list. This is my tier list. I know I didn't speak about every unit for like two minutes, but I don't think uh, I need to and the video would, would be too long. I think that this is fine. Uh, this is a fine tier list. I'm not saying that this is perfect. And um, as I said, uh, this is my opinion. You don't have to agree with everything. Um, if you dis if you disagree with some units, it's completely fine. Um, and uh, if you disagree, you could uh, write down your argument in the comment section. Um, I am actually curious about your opinions. So this is basically the tier list before the second anniversary. I don't think that they gonna release too many new uh, units. Um, at least I don't think that they gonna release units that gonna break the meta, especially before the second anniversary, but who knows. 
I could be wrong. They could release a unit like Kefla or Gotenks uh, and make a team just so much better than before. Um, it could happen. Uh, everyone was speculating about UI Goku. They didn't release him for Goku Day. So I don't really know. They probably going to make another step up banner before the anniversary. I'm not sure. Um, but I think that this is this is a good tier list before the second anniversary, and I don't think that a lot of things are gonna change. So yeah, um, that was it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video, uh, write down in the comment section your opinions, the things that you disagree with or agree with. Uh, yeah, and most likely I'm going to reply if the comment actually makes some sense. And yes, this is my tier list. Uh, I'm thinking about making a team tier list. If you are, uh, if you want to see that, then uh, like the video, write it down in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.